Hey, good evening and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video on the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those. Hey, y'all, I'm sorry. I made a mistake and clicked the wrong thing, okay? Uh, but make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? Um, I wanted to talk about, um, there's breaking news that the feds have swooped up uh, P. Diddy, okay? The feds have swooped up P. Diddy, and, um, hey, they got him, okay? Let's read what, what TMZ says, okay? It, according to TMZ, Diddy arrested and taken into federal custody in New York. It says a law enforcement source tells TMZ the arrest was scheduled for Tuesday, but something happened that caused the feds to move in earlier. So they must have gotten word or 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 intel. They probably, you know, got surveillance on him that he was getting ready to try to get out of the country. Says um, Diddy was just arrested and taken into custody. In New York, Monday night, TMZ learned. Sources tell TMZ Homeland Security swooped into a Midtown hotel late Monday where Diddy was staying and they arrested him. We have confirmed reports. The feds are searching his hotel room. We're told Diddy was taken to the FBI field office in Manhattan. It appears the action was taken in connection with the ongoing criminal investigation into alleged SEX trafficking and other offenses that led to search warrants being issued and executed at Diddy's home in Beverly Hills in Miami. As we reported, a grand jury has been hearing testimony from various accusers over the last few months. Diddy's attorneys, Mark Agnifi, Agnifilo, okay, tells TMZ, we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropist who has spent the last 30 years building an empire, adoring his children, and working to uplift the Black community. The attorney adds he is an imperfect person but is not criminal. To his credit, Mr. Combs has been... Um, nothing but cooperative with his investigation and he voluntarily relocated to new york last week in anticipation of these charges please reserve your judgment until you have all of the facts these are the facts of an innocent man with nothing to hide and he looks forward to clearing his name i don't think diddy gonna get to clear his name this time okay hey when people get to hollering about you know, um, folks are untouchable. You know, we hear people say that all the time. They want to believe that people are untouchable. But Diddy is a way bigger star than a lot of these people that folks want to claim is untouchable. If they want you, they're going to get you, okay? I don't care. Diddy and Jay-Z are the best of friends, okay? So, um, as a matter of fact, Diddy may be a more considered more of an accomplished artist as far as, as as music mogul or whatever, we haven't heard about Jay Z writing a lot of songs. Did it probably didn't either, but you know, um, he he would probably be considered more established um, than than Jay Z. And we see after thirty years what they've done to him, and it looks like that Jay Z is on a downward spiral. Hey, when you start seeing uh, certain main medias allowing, uh, putting out negative stuff about some of these celebrities, that means that the powers that be is allowing it, right? Because when they're in, when they're untouchable, they don't allow them to put out negative uh, press about them, okay? We see that the government, rather Diddy is, you know, folks gonna say, I bet he don't be convicted, but hey, but they show putting him through a lot of hell. He might not be convicted, but uh, they messing with him, okay? They're messing with him enough. They're putting him through enough pain to let him know, right, um, that he is touchable, right? So that's the main thing. So, hey, 
Um, they done got him. And I'm sure one of the reasons that they did get him was because um, if they moved in early, because they was going to get him tomorrow, if they moved in early, it must have been, they must have got intel about him get ready to uh, try and flee. Okay. There was another young lady, Don, who was um, making the band. She actually filed some allegations against him. I remember when she was on making the band, okay? Um, hey, she was a dancer for the New Orleans, um, for New Orleans basketball, basketball, the Pelicans or something. And she was a good dancer, but she wasn't that good of a singer. But I'm sure he got her because she could dance, right? That's her and him. I like Don when she was on um, making the band. Um, he said, singer songwriter Don Richards, formerly of Danity Kane, is accusing Sean Combs of extrally assaulting her. Right? I had said without the S. Richards is the eighth person to file a lawsuit against the music mogul for assault. She was the one I remember because I like looking at uh, um, Danity Kane. You know, making the band. Um, she was the one that came up with that name, Danity Kane, okay, because she could draw. And she said, Diddy asked her one time, who was that character? And she said, I call her Danity Kane. And he was like, that's the name we're going to give the, the group. Okay. It says, in court documents obtained by TMZ, the former Diddy Dirty Money singer alleges Diddy assaulted her and harassed her. Uh, Richard's 41 accused Combs of years of abuse and mistreatment when she was his bandmate in the group Dirty uh, Diddy Dirty Money. He also alleges she also alleges Combs psychologically terrorized her over the years. Richard's claimed Combs grabbed her multiple times and threatened her life more than once. She said he abused her and other contestants during onset auditions in the 2004 MTV show Making the Band. Richard said Combs called female contestants fat, ugly, B's, and H's. The singer said Combs had a particular disdain for her because she was young and eager to work with him. Richards claimed that she witnessed Combs abusing both his deceased uh, partner, Kim Porter, pictured in the 2004, and his ex-girlfriend, Cassie. Richards and Combs, 54, collaborated most recently on his love album. Okay, so she just collected that he just put that album out. It says Cassie Ventura sued Combs in November 23 for assault and harassment. He quickly settled the next day for a reported 30 million. Combs vigorously denies the allegations in a statement through his attorney on Wednesday. Attorney Erica Wolf tells TMZ Mr. Combs is shocked and disappointed. By this lawsuit, in an attempt to rewrite history, Don Richards has now manufactured a series of false claims in hopes of trying to get a payday. Of course, they say that about everybody, but she just worked with him. But you have to understand, a lot of these women do have Stockholm Syndrome, and um, they accept this abuse to be able to be in the music industry. Puffy had made it very clear he's been very evil down through the years that if he um, didn't like you, that was that you was going to have problems, right? Um, working with anybody, right? But it's unfortunate that these girls allowed themselves because Dawn went to college. You know, she was a dancer and all of that. She could have easily gotten something else. She was from New Orleans. Um, she could have easily got into something else, but she chose to stay around and accept that abuse uh, to in hopes of making it, right? And so these women got to make better decisions, right? So, yeah, the folks got him, okay? And I know people say they're trying to take down a black man. Puffy has built his empire off of taking advantage of all of these black entertainers and leaving them broke, busted, and disgusted, using them. And um, a lot of them have to have psychological help. Afterwards, right? They have to have psychological help because he really... Um, I'm hearing he abuses them pretty bad um, and then just throw them away. There's a, there's a history of it. He's done the dirty work for the powers that be um, by helping to make sure that there was no generational wealth created in the black community, taking advantage of artists that did not know anything about the business. Um, and, and it ain't me talking. It's proof of it, right? None of them have, all of them talk about none of them got no money, right? 
So um, he's just perpetuated a lot of stuff. And, and, you know, you have to, it comes back. You have to read what you sow. It comes back around and it's back. So, you know, he's going to have to swallow that. He's going to have to take that. Whatever they're doing to him, he's, he's you know, he get the opportunity to see how a lot of those artists felt, you know, when he was, um, you know, putting them in positions where, and I don't know why they did it. You don't work no more. You or you gonna give me your booty? Um, and when he was, you know, having the women to 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 do whatever it was that he was having them to do, he was, you know, beating on them and all of that. You know, trying to annihilate. Okay, um, a lot of men's manhoods. Okay, their manhood. All of that stuff is coming back, and folks said, "Well, the white people just did it." You know, I get so tired of black people with that. It's okay. We should give people, black people a pass because if the white people do it, it's okay then, right? He messed with underage girls. The white people says do it. So that makes it right. I, I don't trust nobody that says that. It lets you know that they are twisted for real. And we already know our community is suffering with a lot of folks being twisted. Okay. But um, Diddy has done nobody but he, you ain't never heard him doing nobody but people in his community wrong, right? He was given the power to do that, and when he when he started thinking he was one of them, um, you see what happened to him. You see what has happened to him when he started thinking he was one of them. So, um, I don't give a damn about him myself. Okay, this right here. Uh, should be should this right here should let people know that um it should inspire them right that whatever man so with that's what he's gonna reap okay so keep your head up because it comes back around okay it comes back around so when people have done you dirty just just you know, once we, folks get the hollering about somebody that ain't even will it really known is untouchable. Diddy is one of the bigger stars, and they had him on the pedestal for 30 years and knocked him off. What you think they'll do to somebody even beneath him? Okay, that ain't nearly got the star status that try to uh, associate, attach themselves to artists that they think got big names to get them some clout. They ain't even nothing. Okay, so, anyways. Um, we just want to talk about that, okay? I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to support the channel, you can support the channel via Cash App.